guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiara Lejean for anybody who's new here. I know I look really bad right now. Um, I have class today, so I usually don't put on makeup or like dress up for class, it's just class. And then also my backdrop, I did a glitter wall. Now I researched it, trying to find like the cheapest way to do it and then like different techniques to do it. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do it and all the supplies you need. So I hope you guys enjoy. Excuse my pants. These my painting leggings, so they have like glitter all over it. But first thing that you're gonna need is Mod Podge. Now this one is the glossy kind, um, and this is also like the jumbo kind, as you can see. I got the big kind because obviously, like, I have a big old wall to cover, and then um, I got the glossy kind because it will help the glitter like be like more shiny, if that makes any sense. So I got two of those. This one is already like pretty much done, so I have a little bit more of this to finish up the wall. Next thing you're going to need is like some type of painting tray. At first I was using like just like a regular bowl and like mixing it with my little spoon. Um, that's why it looks like so bad and like that's why the spoon is stuck to it. But you can use a painting tray too. Same thing. They both like all you need. You just need something to like actually hold the um, glitter paint. Next thing you need is just a brush. Um, I'm not sure what kind of brush this is called but this is like the spongy kind. So, um, I didn't want to use like a regular paintbrush with like the hairs because I didn't want glitter to get like all in between the hairs and it'll be like hard to wash off. This one was super cheap and when you're applying the glitter, you want to like, you want to like plaster it on the wall and this one is like the best way to do it. This brush right here. And this was like a dollar or two dollars at Michael's. Then you're going to need tape. This is just tape to put on um the ceiling you know all around the borders we just did well my boyfriend just did um the ceiling and then like that side of the wall so um yeah so if you don't want to get glitter everywhere then you, you're, you're gonna need some tape last but not least is you're going to need a lot a lot a lot of glitter the glitter i chose is recollection glitter um so these are the holographic glitters so as you can see when they hit the light you see like the green the blue and like the other colors to it so i got them in two sizes i got it into like the really fine ultra fine one and then i got the chunky one so um when the light hits it you're gonna see like it's gonna look more dimensional like together so yeah so this is the reason why i chose two glitters so if I move my light around, you can see like how the glitter moves. So if you would have just, if I would have just did like one type of just like the fine glitter or the chunky glitter, it wouldn't, it would not have that same effect. Like it wouldn't look this like good. So that's why I chose to use two different types of glitter because I didn't want it to look too chunky and I didn't want it to look too fine where the glitter wouldn't like pop. The amount of glitter you need really depends on like how big your wall. My wall isn't that big, but I still needed like a lot of glitter. I needed a lot more of the ultra fine glitter than the chunky one. That's what I noticed. I wasn't going through as much of the chunky one as I was the ultra fine glitter. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to finish up the wall and show you guys how I do it. But first, I'm going to show you guys how I mix the glitters together. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just get the Mod Podge that only has like a little bit in it. And I'm going to pour this into my container, I mean my little paint pan, I guess. And I'm just going to use the rest of this up. just make sure that you close it like really good okay so I have my Mod Podge in my pan now I'm um, the first it doesn't matter which one you put in first but I'm gonna put in the chunky one first and you really can just eyeball it and then I'm going to put the um the fine one in so the really good thing about using two glitters is because you can really eyeball it on like portions. So like when you paint it, you won't, you can't tell, oh, I missed this spot. I didn't put enough of that glitter in this spot. You can't tell at all. That's why like 
you really don't have to measure anything unless you're, you really just want to be that thorough but you really don't have to measure it so now I'm gonna do is let's see if I can get you guys in closer I'm just going to mix the two glitters together Depending on what glitter you're Super thick. When you don't think it's um, you think it's thick enough, add some more in there because it's still not thick enough. I promise you. This is gonna help you do less coats, and it's gonna help you not use um, so much mod podge. Okay, so when you think it's all mixed up, make sure you dig at the bottom. Just to make sure like there's not any like loose glitter somewhere because you don't want to get that on the brush. Oh, and then also you're going to need like an old bed sheet or something to put on your floor if you have carpet and stuff. Okay, so this is a really good consistency. So like they said they wanted, um, the video I watched, they wanted theirs to be like the consistency of cake batter or a little bit thicker. And this is the consist consistency you want. You don't want the flow to be too full. You want it to be like a little chunky. Okay, so now I'm gonna get all that off. Put my phone back inside that ball. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I actually paint my wall. I know you can see my shadow, but I told you guys like I don't have my ring light out. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to paint like this like blank area of the wall. So I didn't use a primer um, or anything. This is just like the regular colors of my wall. It's like a beige color. And I didn't like paint my backdrop silver just because like I didn't, I really didn't want to. I didn't want it, the wall to be too dark. So I left it this color. You can paint your wall whatever color you want. You just, you really don't need to. If you do paint your wall silver or whatever color your glitter is, it might help with like the holes. So like, you won't be able to see the holes as much because I know you can see them like over here which I don't mind because I need to do with like a second coat anyway so that's fine for me but if you don't want to have to do like a second or third coat or do like extreme touch-ups you might want to paint your wall you don't have to but you can I just didn't because I didn't want a dark a super dark wall for my backdrop okay so I'm just dipping my brush in and then I'm gonna make sure I have like a good amount on there. You don't want it to drip too much. Now what I'm going to do is just literally like layer it on there. That's all I'm doing. And I know it looks like gray right now, but that's all you wanna do is like literally just like layer it. You kinda want it to like plaster it basically on the wall. It's kinda hard to do this with like one hand. Film with the other yeah, so I'm just dipping it, getting like a nice amount on there, and literally just like smearing it on the wall or spackling, whatever it's called. And that's all you have to do. It's super, super, super easy. Um, I seen one technique where the lady like painted her wall in sections and then blew glitter with a blow dryer, and like that was a hot mess. Like. She had glitter everywhere. With, with this technique, your glitter is gonna be either in here, on the floor, but like it's gonna be in clumps, like because of the glue. So like this is like the the easiest way to like I feel to get the glitter on the wall. Um, and then also I know that there are certain brands that um that make glitter paint, but the ones that I've seen were like super 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 expensive. And one thing with glitter is like doing it this way is you're gonna have 
holes that you're gonna have to go over like multiple multiple times so I just feel like this was probably I don't know if it was the cheapest way to do it but like one of the cheapest ways and then another plus with doing the Mod Podge is this dries super super fast like super 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 fast like you really don't even have to wait on it to dry if you just like work in sections by the time you I was like in the middle of my wall that side of my wall was already dry for me to go back over it so um yeah that's like a big 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 plus for me um that it dries super super fast let's see if I can So that part of my wall is drying. That's the part that I just did. Another plus to having the Mod Podge. Okay, you see like how obviously we didn't paint the, the bottom of the border. Like it's super easy to like peel off. So like just like that it comes off. So see how it's like on there. It's like super easy for it to come off. And it doesn't like take off the paint that's underneath. So. So like see how these are like hard, you know like from last time we painted, which like was weeks ago. You just take it, take your nail, and you literally just peel it all off. And it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't hurt the paint that's underneath the um that's underneath it. So like this border is like literally fine. Um that's why I didn't like tape it, because I mean I can like just scrape it off. Even though taping it probably would be smarter. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> so yeah. See, I was like, all that was glitter. You just gotta scrape it off. That's literally all you have to do. That's another plus to, to um, to like doing the Mod Podge. And then, so you see how like, this is a hole right here. Like, you can still see like my wall. So, I'm gonna do is just get my paint, get a little bit on there. And then, just fill the hole. You can go right back on top of it. It does not matter. But only only fill your holes when your paint is completely dry. Um, you don't want to do it when it's wet because it is glue. So it'll start to stick together and it'll get like super rough. Um, so make sure that whatever holes you want to fill, you want to make sure that, um, that that paint that you're going on top of is already dry. As you can see, I started filling the holes, and then this area is obviously the one I was working on, still drying. It's been about probably 10 minutes, and it's still drying, obviously. I know one concern is, well, if you touch it, won't glitter be on your hands? Okay, I'm going to use these two fingers because these two, like, already have glitter on them. So see how they're clean, clean, and I'm rubbing, rubbing, and look, no glitter whatsoever. So I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's because of the Mod Podge. So the Mod Podge helps it adhere to the wall and it doesn't come off. Like it won't flake off, like you can scratch it, you can do whatever you want to it. Like the wall is still durable um, and you won't get like any, you know, glitter on your hands. All right guys, so it's the next morning. My wall is pretty much done. There's a couple more spots that I need to go back over, but I just wanted to get this video out for y'all. So let me show you guys up close with the ring light, how it looks. See how like the glitter dances? It's so pretty. It looks way better in person, but the camera's picking it up pretty good. So yeah, that's what the wall looks like. And then in front of it, I have my Ikea desk. My parents got that for me at Ikea. I have, look at me holding the ring light <laughs> with the camera. I have this little acrylic drawer that I got from Hot Look like years ago. My Revlon mirror that I got from um, Ulta. This is an acrylic lipstick holder and that's just like one YSO lipstick. And then these are my dirty Artiste brushes um, that I'm gonna display. I think that's the, these are the only things that are gonna be right here for now. Now, I do wanna put up a mirror, like a really big, 
like actual vanity mirror up um i see one in that kia that i like but i just want to show you guys how the wall came out and i still need to like remove the blue tape but for the most part this is what it looks like i think it's it's like super super cute like that glitter is just like everything so yeah thank you guys for watching this video ignore it that stuff right there i still need to clean up that stuff thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you have any questions about how i did it and what products i used i'll try to link everything that i use down below and yeah make sure you guys subscribe bye